I just talked with my lieutenant yes, and I told him that you were out here having a great debate with our city mayor. What is your lieutenant's name? I don't have to tell you that. I think it's vulgar. I think it's low class. I'm very disappointed somebody would do that. Okay, that's your opinion. Are you it, so fragile are that you, that's harassment? Are you so fragile that you don't like the word? Are you offended by it? Absolutely. Okay, good. I'm glad that you are. Good, I hope it offends you good and well. It's well within your rights to have, you know, your protest and all that, but the language is an issue. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story features Jeff Gray, who on July 3rd of 2019 was in Moultrie, Georgia, standing on a public sidewalk with a sign that read F City Hall. The event was recorded on both his Apple Watch and video camera. So I'm just going to stand out here and uh, express my right to be critical of the government on the day before Independence Day. After almost 10 minutes, the Moultrie city manager, Pete Dillard, emerges from City Hall to question Jeff about his sign. That is when he begins recording video of the encounter. How you doing? Good. I'm good, how are you? I'm Pete Dillard. My name's Jeff. Jeff? Uh-huh. I'm curious, what's your issue? Uh, just expressing my right to free speech the day before Independence Day. To be well, critical of, uh, of City Hall. Uh, what? To be critical of City Hall, expressing my free speech right to be critical of uh, government. Well, what, uh, anything in particular? No, not really. Well, isn't that kind of a vulgar way of doing it? It sure is. Absolutely. And who are, who are you with the city? I'm the city manager. Oh, city manager, okay. Well, nice to meet you. But I mean, no particular issue with City Hall? But... Just expressing my right to free speech, that's all. The day before Independence uh -huh. Day. It's really vulgar. I, uh, How you doing, officer? Yeah, I, I agree, it is. I'm good. What's going on here? I'm um, expressing my right to free speech the day before Independence Day to be critical of the government. Why is it? Uh, expressing my right. Uh, free speech. Show me around. Okay. Right. Almost immediately, it seems as though Mr. Dillard called in the cavalry as Corporal Johnson of the Moultrie Police Department arrives on scene and another officer radios in that he is en route as well. Uh, free speech. Show me around. Okay. All this for a sign. Hey, my name is Jeff, by the way. Hey, my name is Corporal Britton Johnson with Moultrie Police Department. All right. Have you done everything to be able to do? What do I need to do? We have attempted huh? to do. What do I need to do? You can't just stand out here with the sign like this. Why not? Huh? Why is that? Because you have to sign up. 43 um, Central being around. Woo, I can't hear you over your radio. <laughs> You have to get like a, um, what is it, a petition? You have a, yeah. a outdoor permit from, yeah. from the permit. city clerk. Do you have um, to do something like that? Okay. So that's why I have to get an outdoor permit from the city clerk. I don't clerk. know if you want to pay just to stand outside with a sign. Can you go ahead and get it? Go in there and get one for me. Sure, you can do it. Just uh, go in, go upstairs, and the city clerk can take care of it. Okay, I'd, I'd rather not do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and stand out here with the sign. Corporal Johnson and the city manager alleges that an outdoor permit is required to hold a sign in public. That's funny, I don't see that anywhere in the First Amendment. Since the Bill of Rights were written, many state and local governments have taken it upon themselves to create new rules regarding free speech. Most point to time, place, and manner restrictions, which are content-neutral limitations imposed by the government on expressive activity. Generally, time, place, and manner restrictions are used to prevent people from talking during a court proceeding or protesting within government buildings. There are many examples. In any case, the government entity that creates those restrictions must be able to show that they are narrowly tailored to achieve a significant governmental interest. In this case, there's no crowd blocking public movement or a need to protect private businesses, and the only government interest seems to be to not be criticized negatively by a single man and a sign. Only a tyrant would suggest that paid government permission is required to carry on such an act. Regardless, Jeff offers to fill out the application if they bring him one, but they refuse. I'd rather not do that. I'm just going to go ahead and stand out here with the sign. No, you, that's that's what we can't do. You cannot just stand out here with that sign. If you're going to do it the right way or we'll have to take... Oh, I'm not going to go do it. Measures to, um... This is my constitutionally protected right for free speech. Okay. And you've been put on notice about that? This is the most basic, fundamental, and well-established right that we as Americans have. Here? It's none of your business where I live. But do you live here? It's none of your business where I live. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, let me tell you what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to call my lieutenant. I'm going to ask him what are my steps that I need to do in order to get this done. Mm -hmm. And if he tells me that I can lock you up based off of this information, then that's what we're going to do, okay? 
So you're threatening to have me locked up no, if you're I'm lieutenant? No, I'm not threatening anything. I'm just telling you what can happen due to you. What is your lieutenant's name? Hmm? What is your lieutenant's name? I don't have to tell you that. I'd just like to know so I could talk to him too. To or she. Well, she's going to call him and talk to him. And then if it goes further, you can talk to him then. Okay. I'll get him to come over here. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. I'll meet him, talk to him in person. I'm just disappointed somebody would be that vulgar. Uh, well, I'm disappointed you guys that you would come out here and harass a person for free speech. I haven't speech. harassed you. I just came out and talked to you. If uh, that, that's harassment? That seems like it. Are you it. so fragile are that you, that's harassment? Are you so fragile that you don't like the word fuck? Uh, I'm a decent person. Are you offended by it? Absolutely. Okay, good. I'm glad that you are. Well, good. I, I hope it offends you good and well. Well, I'm, I'm always offended that somebody's vulgar. Mm -hmm. I'm offended hate, at what you guys do. We've degraded to that level. I hate, I hate that you guys have degraded to do what you do in City Hall every day, stealing what from the citizens, robbing from the citizens. You tell me. You know How what do you have to do. rob from the citizens. You know what you do. Anyway, I'm just. No, I don't. Tell me. I'm not going to get into a oh, discussion. Because you don't know. All right, right. I, yeah. I don't live here, so I don't know. But so it's you, not my. You, you know. You, you know better than I do. But I do know, and we don't rob from the citizens. But you don't know, and you make an accusation like well, that. Well, a lot of people have been driving by. Ninety percent of the people have been driving by say, yeah. City Hall. Of course they do. People love and the city manager. Somebody, yeah, that's right. The city manager too. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of them. And said the police too. Yeah. And her. that's really trashy. Mm-hmm. That's very trashy. Thank you. I appreciate it. As trashy as it may be to some, freedom of expression is a fundamental human right. It reinforces all other human rights and allows society to develop and progress. A government which does not know what the people feel about it is in a dangerous position. Corporal Johnson calls her lieutenant and they wait for his arrival as the city manager alleges that anyone that would express negative opinions about the state and public couldn't be much. I'm sure your parents are real proud of you too. Well, they'd be more proud than somebody standing around with a vulgar child. Yeah, at least I'm not a scumbag city official. Say that again. At least I'm not a scumbag city official. <laughs> city manager. Well, you're not qualified to be, I'm sure. Oh, you think so? Well, how, you don't know anything about me. I, you don't know anything I about me. I know anybody that would do that can't be much. Okay, right. Like I said, I, I'd rather not get in a back and forth with you about it. I'm just expressing my free speech I rights. My, I think it's vulgar. I think it's low class. I'm very disappointed somebody would do that. Okay, that's your opinion. That's absolutely, and I have the right. I'm very opinion. disappointed that you won't stand up for my civil rights and tell these guys to back off as a city manager. It's clear that the city manager understands the right to free speech, as he has just expressed his own, while declaring that he has the right to do so. That's your opinion. That's absolutely, and I have the right. This should be the statement that revokes everyone on scene qualified immunity. Let's see what happens instead. I'm very disappointed that you won't stand up for my civil rights and tell these guys to back off as a city manager. I'm giving you the opportunity to do that right now. Stand up and listen to me. You're the city manager? Listen to me. You're the city manager? Tell these guys to stand down and back off. I will tell they will follow the law, the city ordinance, okay. and I don't interfere with that. What's going on? I just talked with my lieutenant yes, and I told him that you were out here having a great debate with our city mayor. And he told me we're not going to have that kind of stuff go on in the city of Moultrie. So you put your sign down, turn around and place your hands. Okay, I'll leave then. No, you're going to place your hands behind your back. You're being locked up for disorderly conduct. For disorderly conduct? Yes, place okay. your hands behind your back. I'm never I'm just a little big. I'm a little big. Can you put these in front? Do you need a double okay. No, nah, he's he'll be alright. He's not gonna fight. No sir, I'm not fighting. I will not resist. Lieutenant Cox said take him to the county jail. Tip him. Okay. Lieutenant Cox said that? Yes. Okay. Now we do have a city ordinance about vulgar yeah, language. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is it's it's well within your rights to have, you know, your protest and all that, but the language is an issue. That's where it's at. Yeah, I'm not answering any further questions. I, I, I will advise you guys.
to make sure you double check with this because right now you're in violation of my civil rights. I'm really not, but that's okay. Jeff is now placed under arrest for disorderly conduct under Section 74.8 of the Moultrie City Code of Ordinances, which defines disorderly conduct as with intent to cause physical inconvenience, annoyance or alarm by or to a member or members of the public, or recklessly creating a risk. Followed by that description are 29 subsections that categorize the offense. Just seven months prior to this arrest, the Moultrie Police Chief fought to make changes to the code, claiming it was broad and generalized. His goal was to decrease the number of arrests for petty disorderly conduct charges. While the code was eventually changed, in this case, Jeff was charged and while in transport to the booking, the officer stopped to allow the chief to talk to him. Hey, how you doing, Jeffrey? Hey, you? Jeff. Good to see you, man. All right. Did they understand why you're being, uh, explain to you why you're being arrested? Yeah, they're violating my right to free speech. Okay, well, you do have free speech, but not when it has profanity on it. But as far as protesting, all you have to do is go up to the city manager's office mm -hmm. and you can file for... So you're um, the chief? I'm, look, look, yeah. this is well settled. This, yeah. What I'm doing, what I was doing out there, is the most basic, vital, and well-established liberty that yeah. Americans enjoy. It's the day before Independence Day, and you guys are resting. That's awesome. Yeah. So Anyways, I'm, so what I was going to tell you was, so you'll know next time, so there won't be any confusion, I mean, as far as your protesting goes, is you can go up and apply for a permit, and then the city manager approves it, and then you can protest wherever Okay, you well, I'm going to give you a chance while you still have your, your qualified immunity to yeah. stop this arrest and let me go. Okay. Because if you don't, you're going to lose your qualified immunity. Okay, that... That you have a chance great. right now to walk away with that with your okay. qualified immunity intact. Sounds good, if man. If you take me to jail, it's gone. Okay. All right, so for you. Okay. What is, what am I being arrested for? Disorderly conduct. Disorderly conduct. Just eight days later, the chief finally reviewed the evidence and decided to drop the charge and refund Jeff's $325 bond. Chief Ladson later wrote that he didn't believe Jeff intended to violate the municipal code in which he was charged, but that he believed that Jeff intended to provoke the city manager to the point of physical altercation and disrupt the natural flow of citizens in and out of the city municipal building. About two months later, Jeff filed a 42 USC 1983 lawsuit against Pete Dillard, four officers and the city of Moultrie for violating his constitutional rights. The city recently settled with Jeff for $10,000, but more important was the non-monetary consideration in the lawsuit, which reads that in addition to the payment of the settlement proceeds, in connection with the resolution of the claims asserted in the lawsuit, the city of Moultrie hereby agrees that beginning in 2022, it will provide its certified law enforcement officers with First Amendment training either every year for a period of 10 years or every other year for a period of 20 years. The sad part is that this training didn't exist previously. Unfortunately, that is more common than you can imagine. Most law enforcement agencies fail to uphold and protect the constitutional rights they claim to safeguard, even though that should be their number one priority. But most law enforcement officers couldn't tell you much about the First Amendment, which five rights it's supposed to protect, or anything else they swore an oath to. That's just one of the many devastating shortcomings of law enforcement in the United States today. If you like this video, be sure to head over to Jeff Gray's channel. His link will be in the description and pinned comment. While you're there, I'd appreciate if you let him know that I sent you. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.